Hello friends, welcome to the part 2 episode of this series. Now after fitting the starter motor gear, another gear is going to fit into the crankshaft. Now you can see this gear is a two part gear. There is an inner gear and an outer gear. The outer gear actually rides above the inner gear. The two gear acts as a ratchet or a unidirectional gear. You can see the outer gear is been placed into the inner gear and in between them there are rollers, roller bearings. How this works actually is when the starter motor rotates it rotates this gear which in turn rotates the crankshaft but once the engine is started the gear stops spinning and in this way the motor does not rotate along with the crankshaft so it rotates only in one direction here you can see he is rotating it in counterclockwise direction but it is not rotating in the clockwise direction this is because it has a few locking mechanism inside that prevents it from rotating on the other direction and it rotates only in one direction you can see it's rotating in the counterclockwise direction and not on the other way around. Now after lubricating the gears it will be fitted into the shaft. Now you can see there are grooves, keyway grooves cut into the shaft as well as in the inner gear. And a woodruff key is used to fit the gear into the shaft. Now what is a woodruff key? It's a half circle or a C-shaped key that is fitted into the shaft you can see here and this key locks the gear with the shaft after the key is placed the gear is carefully slipped into the shaft and aligning the slits with the key a gentle tap inserts the gear into its place as the gear meshes up with each other you can see the starter motor side gear and the oil pump both are rotating along with the gear now the oil pump gear is uh, connected with the inner gear and the starter motor gear is connected with the outer gear as you can see a presentation of how the gears would look when it's running when the starter motor is fitted the outer gear in the crankshaft and the gear connected with the starter motor will remain in a stationary position while the engine is running and will only turn when the starter motor is turning the engine finally a washer is placed and a nut is tightened to keep the gear in its place. As we have forgotten that the nut tightens in the counterclockwise direction and it opens up in clockwise direction. But soon we realize that and we tightened it in the right way which is the counterclockwise direction as you can see. This is because the engine rotates in clockwise direction and the nut tightens in the opposite direction will keep it in its place while the engine is running and it will not open up. A little tap in the nut tightens it and it's done. Before fitting the crankcase, he is checking the oil passages for any dirt. With the help of a thin wire, it is good to check the oil passage from where the oil is going to come out. Now it's time to apply the gasket sealer or the silicon sealer. After the silicon sealer is applied, the gasket is put into its place. Being very careful, 
to align all the holes and the alignment pin especially the alignment pin after that apply another layer of silicone on the top of this gasket and on the other side of the crack case you can see he is checking whether it's aligned or not now as you can see silicone is applied on both the side of the gasket and on both the side of the crankcase and the case is gently slipped over the shaft where the oil seal is a little bit of oil is applied on the shaft so that the oil seal doesn't get damaged when it is pushed inside after aligning the alignment pin a gentle push helps it to sit into its place A gentle tap ensures a close fitting. You can see he is still tapping here and there, making sure all the sides are very close to the other side of the crankcase. Turning the crankshaft every now and then, making sure it's free and rotates very easily. A little bit of tapping on this side now you can see the crankshaft inside the crankcase now all the bolts are going to go in and tightened you can see he's tightening all the bolts one by one You can see he's tightening the bolts on the bottom of the engine. After that he will tighten the top side. He is not fully tightening the nuts now. He is just slightly uh, tightening it. And then he will gradually tighten it one by one. First he tightened all the nuts a little bit and then slowly he tightens and gradually increases the torque on all the sides. All the threads are made on aluminum and the bolts are made of steel so over tightening might uh, damage the threads. So he is being very careful not to over tighten all the bolts. Just as much as required. He is observing the timing chain now so that it's on its place on the timing chain sprocket. After checking everything is right or not, he is going to move on to the next step. Now friends, this is the end of part 2 here. And on part 3 you are going to see the assembly of the blockhead and the cylinders and everything on top. So I hope you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. And thanks a lot for watching. Part 3 is coming soon.